we had in the morning. Because it is through prayer and through the study of scripture we can have our life changed. It is not a waste of time. I'd like to give you an example how I understand it. You may understand it in another way. When I used to go to the gym, I said use because I was being well over a month, so I asked you to the gym. Finally, by the last week I went to the gym, that was the last, last of, the, of the year, so last week of December. Um, I, kind of, I kind of trained my mind that when I go to the gym, I'm not wasting my time. I have trained my mind saying that I, this is my time and I want to enjoy doing it. And this is the same example that I would like to give to those who take prayer and reading the Bible is a waste of time. We have to look at yourself and say, listen, if I want to keep myself healthy, spiritual or physically, I need to make exercise. The Bible says, uses the word spiritual exercise. And to be more exact, when Paul is telling Timothy these words, he uses the Greek word gymnazo from where we have the word gymnasium. Now, most people that go and do a run or a walk or go to the gym may not find it, you know, exciting by the time you wake up or you get your things done and go to the gym. You might find all kinds of excuses in your head. But, but once you start, I'm glad I came, I'm glad I did this walk, I'm glad I did this run. And this is the same thing in our spiritual life. You might think, oh, I, you know, I have so many things to do. Uh, I don't have time to read the Bible, I have time to pray, go to church or whatever else. You know, but people who have the right relationship with God, one of them is Martin Luther, I believe, said, the more busy I am, the more time I spend in prayer. Now, in the logic in mind, it doesn't work out. But the experience says, or says to us now, yes, I can do much better if I spend my time with God. And this is the true experience of someone who is seeking and walking to walk with God. Now, one to the scripture that we read, when we read the Bible, and read passages such as um, Acts chapter 17, we find uh, two important people which were used by God in the primitive church to make his gospel, plant his gospel in Europe, in the Middle East, and eventually in Europe. One of them was Paul. Today, um, uh, the Maltese culture celebrates the feast because 
the day Chosen was the day, you know, to celebrate his uh, 